Eight on your side, investigation. Problems. A veteran down on his luck turned to a pawn shop. Now it looks like they may have taken him for a ride. This veteran brought his sister's wedding ring to the pawn shop, hoping to earn enough money to get back on his feet. But his trip to that shop may have set him back even further. Eight on your side, investigator Shannon Bankin has been looking into this for us. She joins us now with the report. Guys, this is a real mess. This veteran has all the paperwork to prove that he deserves the ring back, but the ring is gone and the pawn shop makes no apologies. Nobody ever said we pulled him. At a low point, Army veteran Ronnie Duffy made a bad decision. Everything just fell apart. We couldn't afford everything. Desperate for cash and with his sister's permission, he dropped off her diamond wedding rings at Pawn Express in Plant City. He took out a $200 loan and paid interest of $50 every month. It has been two years and cost Duffy $1,300. Her wedding rings are invaluable to her. Duffy insists he went back to Pawn Express last week to pay off his $300 balance and pick up the rings, but they are gone. The explanation? They can't find them. They're missing. They don't know where they went. The lady told me, I can't find them. I'm sorry. They should be there. There's no reason they should be gone. Duffy turned to eight on your side, and I paid the pawn shop a visit. Where's the ring? I'm not speaking about that. The manager, Stacy Harris, did not want to talk. Today, and I'd just like to get your side of the story. Okay, I'm not speaking about this. I've spoken with detectives. I'm not speaking with y'all. Well, the detectives tell us I'm that you haven't customer. been able to show them anything to show them what happened to the ring. I'm with a customer. She told us to wait outside for the owner to get to work, but I guess she changed her mind. Oh, well, you're on private property and you need to leave. Back at my desk, the owner, Marie Polk, called, but no answers there either. If he took his $50 on December 23rd, why do you not have his ring? She insists Duffy was in default, even though his receipt does not show that. On the 23rd, you take his money. On the 28th, you scrap the ring. Then when I call you, you tell me you don't know where the ring is, and then you tell me you know it's been scrapped. Which one's the truth? This leaves Duffy with little hope of ever getting the rings back. The law says they have to have a record. So if you're all of a sudden, you come up with the idea that maybe we pull them well, why are you keep taking payments? I'm not the only one asking tough questions here. The Plant City Police Department paid the pawn shop a visit today, too. They want to know where this ring is and why the pawn shop thought that they had the right to get rid of it. Okay, is it just me or is this the second time in like a week I've seen police be called out to chase you away yeah, for asking questions? I can't deny that. Right, but let's get back <laughs> to this. What about the law here? What is right? How long can a pawn shop legally keep your thing? Under what circumstances can they keep it? Well, if you stop making their payments, they can get rid of it, but the law is pretty clear that they have to wait at least 30 days. They have to wait until you've missed two payments, actually. And, and that the didn't last happened, right? That's right. And the last time they have to wait 30 days, the receipt was pretty clear that he had just paid two days before Christmas. Mm. Well, the investigation will go on. I, I look forward to the outcome on this one. Me Maybe too. somebody will chat with you at some point about I it. hope so. Where's the ring? I... Or show me the money. That's right. All right. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. And we want to know if you've had a bad experience with a pawn shop. Just go to WFLA.com. At our Facebook page and weigh in on that conversation.